Okay, now we need to make the wedge for the tusk tenon, and this is what locks it together. And as you can see, it's straight on one side and tapers on the other. <clears throat> I really don't know what this angle is, um, but I'll show you how I lay it out. But as far as the degree, I don't, don't know. But real simple. Start with a blank, and, and these measurements uh, are off the original but the blanks are eight and three quarters long uh, and about two inches wide. And if you wanted to change this a little bit, it would be fine, but this angle here is kind of somewhat critical. Uh, you wouldn't want it too steep because when you're mortising or something, vibration might could possibly cause it to, to slide up on its own. So, uh, but you don't want it so shallow too that it's possible just to drive it, you know, and not stop. So th this angle works real good. This is what we've made them all at and uh, whatever degree it is, but I'll show you how to lay it out. Um, and the uh, thickness of this piece is about three eighths. You wanna, whatever mortise chisel you're using is kind of what determines this. So three eighths or a little thicker, or whatever be fine. But to start out, Measure uh, seven eighths in from one corner, the side you want to be tapered, and make you a, a little simple little mark. Go to the opposite corner and measure down five eighths. So now we've got two little pencil marks. Take your <clears throat> uh, framing square or straight edge or whatever you have handy and line it up to those two marks and just connect them. And that'll give us that, that angle. Okay, you'll notice the Original ends are rounded. I don't have a formula for that. I just generally uh, just draw in whatever looks good to you. Something like that. Okay, to make that angle <clears throat> to uh, cut that wedge out, just start in a Start with a chisel and just chop right down to it. You can also use jack plane uh, set heavy and you can take that wood right off. And then I usually take the joiner very last and be sure it's uh, good straight and even. So something like that. And to make the rounded portions on the ends to 
you can use a coping saw or or uh, you know just rasp it all off generally what i do is just take your chisel that we've been uh, using uh, this is just the one inch firmer chisel and just pair back to it if your chisel is good and sharp it's the fastest way to to do it just take little little nibbles and you should end up with uh, something like that and that's our wedge. And now we're ready to lay out the mortise that goes in and chop it out. And we'll be done with the, with the test in it. This is Joshua Farnsworth. If you're interested in learning traditional woodworking with hand tools, visit my website at woodandshop.com where you can find free video tutorials, workshop tours of amazing traditional woodworkers, and tool buying guides. You can ask questions and share your projects with thousands of woodworkers on my free traditional woodworking forum. Make sure you subscribe to my regular blog posts and also check out my 10 steps for getting started in traditional woodworking. Enjoy!